Hi to all, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about how to record professionally like the real time how we are recording the script okay using the jmeter maybe uh, like uh, previous you saw many videos but this video i'm sure uh, this video really gonna help you so let me open the jmeter then first of all how to download the jmeter so then i think that's not needed here i have downloaded apache jmeter 5.3 this is the new version just you can open the 5.3 okay so if you want to go, download the jmeter just you go through okay let me open and download it for you then it won't take much time right why see jmeter just you can enter jmeter right so you are getting the this one jmeter apache.org okay click on the download releases our new versions will be highlighted here itself okay so just a series of this is the one you need to download binary one 5.3 to zip if it will download it, it the, this is the zip file after downloaded you need to extract this file like so after opening you need to you are able to see like this okay then you need to open the bin okay so here uh, this is the one you need to uh, open the batch file okay it will the, open the command prompt okay so it will open give me a minute so in the jmeter 5.3 there is a new features because this version is newly released okay so here uh, one thing you need to uh, like uh, you need to remember so uh, if you are going to record using the chrome or firefox or ie okay you need to set the proxy okay for that one that also i will show you so this is the how so for uh, for recording also there is a already default templates will be there whichever if you want or you can add normal uh, whichever you want like test, uh, test script recorder or time these things and all that's not all not needed okay just you can click on the file and select the templates okay so select here uh, recording with think time okay so if you don't want the think time you can select record okay i am going with recording with think time so later i will explain you where ex when we need to select these things and all bin cell sampler recording these things and all so for the time being now i am going with the recording with time uh, think time so just you can create click on create automatically it will come these details and all user different variables http request defaults cookie manager so in if you are doing recording manually also make sure you need to add http request defaults http cookie manager okay these are the two like these are the two mandatory okay so you need to add these two definitely okay and the test script recorder and the view results tree that's up to you like which one if you want to add the view results tree like uh, there is many i will show you okay so coming to this one uh you click on http test recorder okay this one i told you right uh, proxy and port okay so you need to set a port whichever if you want to open in the sorry i spelled it there proxy that's not a proxy you need to set a port okay so you need to set a port for chrome firefox and ie okay previous we can set port via chrome only now the new changes google have newly updated the changes so we need to set the port number via system okay then only it will be interlink connected so otherwise it won't record okay make sure so if you, you can take any number so for the for, for your purpose i am do, here so i'm seeing a double eight nine eight okay one second double eight triple eight nine i am selecting okay here so the, this is the same port i need to select in the browser also so now i am going for the chrome browser okay so just you want open the chrome so uh, go with the settings here okay then you can enter here proxy okay open the proxy and computer here it will show automatically detect settings okay this one will be here for okay uh, it will for internet connection settings because here we are setting the proxy server and we are setting the port okay which are the port number we are given here we need to copy and we need to paste the port so that means it will be connected to the same port with the local host okay so then we can record the script with this port okay just you click on the save okay so then you can open one more time if the port is saved or not which are the port yeah it's saved so no need to open again so here this is the one so coming to this one here no need to select anything and all so it's already there in recording control okay so uh, one more thing request filtering so here some of the uh, suggested exclude excludes will be there that means like so some of the unwanted stuff like the jquery these details and all so you can there is there will be one nice option add suggested excludes 
they i have already added so just click one more time if you are the new member of the gmeter just you just that's it okay no need to worry about much so if you want to delete any one so you can click on add uh, select that one you can click on delete okay so let me go back to here okay so this is the one uh, so i am going i am recording now okay so we are already we have set the port also okay so now i'm starting the recording okay uh, wait let me yeah so uh, this one actually this is a certificate so i'll tell you in the end of the certificate okay so just i'm clicking the enter so this is how recording transaction control will be appear so i'm going for the jpet store okay so there will be a lot of sites uh, but i'm i'm taking the jpet store because this one is a light weighted so enter the store okay so these things also will be recorded i will tell you the transaction name of use and prefix also see here this is the home page okay so just you can enter transaction one home page for your understanding okay this one is the uh, already home page right so next one uh, see the already its home page is open so now you are going to select the product here sorry you are going to sign in here okay so i am giving for this one sign in so uh, i can use for login no issue okay login see here just click on login see if you want account in the jpet store you can create account it's free of cost no needs any uh, charges and all sai or you can use mine also no issue sai sai just i have already transaction name given transaction one login so i say login okay so after login you need to select a product so it's taking time you need to bear with me okay so here uh, yeah so now you are able to see the products right here you are able to see welcome winner so i have login the account okay cool so now i am selecting the item okay here transaction one select item okay so i am selecting fish so here it's asking for uh, the name of the fish okay so uh, choose fish i am giving for this one okay so i am going with the goldfish next uh, i am going to add to the cart okay so here uh, add 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 to cart i forget to given t1 and t2 and t3 that means like the transaction that means okay transaction how many numbers of transactions for uh, just for clear understanding okay so uh, yeah add cart and the quantity okay so uh, i need only one okay uh, proceed to checkout i'll give checkout checkout okay so proceed to checkout so i have mentioned again t3 only okay not needed so here here i have already filled the all the details and all okay so uh, i think not needed again so just i am continue okay So whichever the it's recording here it will be stored under this transaction name okay for the transaction uh, each transaction we can identify clearly with the transaction name okay so here uh, confirm okay next one will be logout okay see this is how this one is booked ordered now so next final one is the logout I have stopped the order okay sorry recording now uh, we need to see all details and all so it will be recording this under recording control okay see these things and all uh, i think it, it won't need it one second 
see these details and all not needed from see keywords where these are and all so we need which site we opened actually jpet store okay only that sites we needed okay let me open see this one this one this one and all not needed. okay not needed. just click on and remove okay see uh, this thing this is the one login one second Inform this one not needed one one more thing yeah here yeah this is the one uh so this one is yeah let me tell you so you can avoid these things and all these things and all you can directly go and remove because these things and all not needed frankly Rem this is the extra uh, contents from the google from the site it's coming see let me show you here see this is the one uh, site it's opening right that time we given right see uh, pet store octo perf.com okay so then we are logging whichever i given here see username and password sai sai i have login here next one see this is the one wait let me show you so this is the like normal after login the home page is opening here we are selecting the item which one there we selected let me check fish okay first one then i have chosen golden fish one second yeah yeah it's showing the, here the product id okay f i f w 2 okay and after that i am adding to the cart okay here so i'm i have added to the cart this is the value okay so this one also not needed this one also not needed okay you can remove this one so check out so this is a check out here okay yeah here actually in the check out uh, so if already i have entered the details there so that's the reason uh, here the details is not showing okay actually if i am entering the at uh, that time that definitely it will show the details here so this is the continue okay see here yes then it will be recorded see here the card whichever uh, default it's coming right the data visa card number name address bill country details and all in the confirm also it will show wait let me show see here the order confirmed okay value equal true so final it will showing for logout okay so perf pet store dot octo perf dot okay this is how uh you need to uh, segregate these scenarios and all i hope these things uh, you are understanding now i think i hope you are understanding now how to record the script using the jmeter okay with how we need to add these things and all see user defined variables re uh, http request defaults http cookie manager is default these two are mandatory for the recording scripts okay so uh, i'll let you know what are the use of these things in the next class because it's already a lengthy video so uh, so this is how you need to rica enable set port in the firefox or chrome i it will be same both okay and the certificate i i forget to inform you here there will be one certificate wait let me show you where is the privacy and security one second manage certificates this is the this is the one see if you have uh, see i have added uh, this is the one okay uh, certificate this is the one uh, just you need to go there trust root certification authorities see uh, here it will be there the certificates okay see the here it is there apache jmeter temporary root certificate you need to add here so i have already added just for adding you need to click on the import and you need to select wherever it is and it will be selected see if you are selected this one it will be added that's it so before once if you are started recording it will automatically uh, visible in the bin folder okay then you need to add to this chrome browser like for all browsers firefox also you need to add that browser so that's it so i hope you guys